So have you ever wanted to monitor your fuel pressure on your classic British car while driving it to try to diagnose a problem, such as a little stumble here and there, or some stuttering where you think it might be not getting enough fuel, uh, or the fuel pump is maybe potentially dying, or your fuel lines run so close to the gearbox or the engine, like in a MGC or some of the midgets, that you think it might be overheating the fuel line and starting to boil it in the lines. Well, I'm going to show you a way here where you can actually do that. So just like you would do when, you were, when you're typically trying to test fuel pressure, get a little T-fitting here. This one's actually out of a Harbor Freight fuel line and vacuum set, but my pressure gauge here is actually a Lyle, something a little bit nicer than that. You get this set in line, get yourself a long enough hose on here to where this will stretch all the way back to behind the bonnet. And now this isn't supposed to be so long. The owner had it that way, I just pulled aside. That way we can get this sitting in here and not pinch this off and we can tuck this all in. So we get this tucked in to where it falls within this channel here on the B. And where this will just stick out on the back of the bonnet there. And now you can sit and watch the fuel pressure while you're driving. Now you might think, wouldn't that pinch off the fuel line? It's not pinching it enough to cause a problem. It's just compressing it a little bit and holding it in place. So now you can watch it while you're driving. So when it starts spitting and sputtering, you can see if your fuel pressure drops while it's doing that, and then you know it's something before the carburetors. If it stays rock solid the whole time, you're either looking at maybe one of the needles and seats hanging a little bit, or maybe it's not even a fuel problem at all unless it's boiling within the float poles, which I have seen that a few times, MGCs and on a midget. But then if you eliminate the fuel problem, maybe you're looking at potentially ignition problem, maybe your um, coil starting to break down, something like that. But this is one way to monitor it and eliminate that as one of the issues. monitor this while we're driving and see exactly what our fuel pressure is doing the whole time. So obviously this problem is not a fuel pressure issue. It's probably ignition related, but I wanted to verify that before I did any more work to it. Because all I've been getting before is just slight stumbles and occasional little pop. So in the case of this car, it was running just fine and just progressively got a little bit worse. I suspected ignition, but then it would clear up completely and be fine, and then start doing it again. So I wanted to verify fuel pressure 